Welcome back to the Micro Showcase, where today we are going to talk about something truly micro. Galoob's Micro Machines, toys, playsets from the 80s and 90s, up until they were acquired by Hasbro in 1998. Um, this is where the word micro comes into play for my channel. A lot of my toys are based on the Micro Machines subline from Galoob, and it's one of my favorite toy lines and inspired me to essentially cl uh, collect and play with these toys as a child into adulthood and why I made this channel so I can show off micro machines and other micro size play sets and vehicles. Um, and I wanted to start with one of the original uh, products from Galoob, the Travel City play sets. This is one of the earlier ones from the late 80s, or oh, sorry, yeah, late 80s. Um, one of the earlier types of Micro Machine uh, playsets that Galoob created. Um, and what is important for me is as I go through, the, you know, this is a newer channel, as I introduce something new to you, a different type of uh, product, not just more Travel Cities, but other products, if I have the boxes or other items to show you to provide context, I'm going to start with those first. Obviously, I have other you know, Travel City, play sets, but I always want to start with the ones that have boxes. So later when I do other brands like Highways and Byways, I want to start with the box first, just to give you some context so that as I go through other play sets, you already have that information and that knowledge. And that's why today we are starting with the City Dump. And just to show you a little bit about the box, you know, it comes with a blueprint style scheme. Uh, it does show you the vehicle that it comes with. So in this case, it's a pickup truck. And it roughly shows you the scale of the vehicle. Shows you what the playset looks like, what it looks like when it's folded, because these are folding playsets. It does tell you that it comes with one Micro Machines vehicle and accessories. If we look underneath, Galoob, Travel City, Micro Machines Proof of Purchase 1 point, 1986 to 1988, Lewis Galoob Toys, Inc. Uh, made in China, the uh, Galoob was based in South San Francisco, California. And on the back it shows you a whole bunch of different Travel City playsets that are connected together, and I'll get to that in a minute, as well as some other unrelated uh, playsets. And if we open it up here, Got some cardboard to protect the pieces inside. We have a sticker sheet. I have not applied those yet. I'm kind of holding on to this. I'd like to just keep it as is so I can show it off in the future. We get this little instruction pamphlet just to show you the city dump, where all the pieces go, where the stickers go. And to entice children to go out and get more of these, a product catalog, which I can show off on a future date. Ah, I didn't do that too well. That's okay. Now it stands by itself. Uh, so let's jump into the actual toy. And <laughs> I think it's funny that we're starting with the city dump. Um, it's just, it's such, I know the United States is not the only country that has dumps or landfills or whatever you want to call them. Just growing up for me, it is something that is just so country and rural, um, you know, because in big cities, you know, the big trucks or not even big cities, small cities too, the trucks will come by, they'll pick up your garbage out front, they take it away. You never go to a landfill unless you have something that they can't pick up or something specific you need to drop off, like electronics, if you don't have a recycling center. But growing up in rural, you know, in a rural town, our family had to load the garbage and, you know, load it into the back of my dad's pickup truck and drive it out to the city dump. Um, we drop it off. We pay the guy who was operating the dump. We'd leave. Interestingly, and this is, this is a funny story, so... People would donate stuff to the guy, who whoever was operating the dump. Because um, it is a service, you got to pay to dump stuff. Um, but people would drop other stuff off that, you know, the gentleman would collect, including books. 
and he'd have a table out front by his, you know, his little office at the front of the facility, and it would just be full of books. My dad would take me, and he, for, I don't remember if it was a quarter or a dime, he'd pick up Louis Lamar novels. He would read them. I was young, and I was like, oh, these books look cool. They're westerns. I like westerns. Um, you know, at the time, I'm reading things like National Geographic or things with pictures. You know, that's how young I was. But Louis the Moore was, well, he was sort of the first novels I actually started reading. Um, and it became, it's because my dad would pick up these novels from the dump. Um, eventually, I would take some change, and I would get a couple, or I'd advise him which ones to pick to pick up so that he could read them and then I could read them afterwards based on the cover art. But yeah, the city dump, it's an educational facility. Looking at the toy here, so you see we have these, these little roads, these connectors. They have pegs on them. Take the truck off. There's this peg right, or this hole right here that corresponds to it. So that's how vehicles by themselves could access the playset. Um, it's a little bit silly because, you know, they fall off real easy. Otherwise, you use these pegs to connect the playsets together, much like what you see here. Um, you'll see in later playsets, they, they get rid of this folding feature for flatter playsets that, you know, the cars can just be on the ground instead of having to go up a ramp. Um, this is what the playset looks like when it's folded. You know, all the parts fit inside. And then you've got holes here. All the parts have pegs. So if I just show this, there's a peg right there. They just fit in place. So here you come with you or you get a 4x4 pickup truck with racing stripes. A little tow hook. And then this is the dump without the stickers, but you can raise and lower. You got a stop sign. You got gravel, well not gravel, a dirt road. And then this, I don't get this part. So as you can see on here it says dump. So the truck would would pull up, you lift this, and then the truck would go backwards. I think the I think it's backwards, and they didn't catch it. It makes more sense for the truck to roll up, push the button, and then the truck goes backwards as if it's dumping, uh, you know, garbage and such into the landfill. You know, doing it this way, where the car has to come in, you know, head first, and it just pushes them backwards. So I think this was a mistake. I think they meant to have it go the other direction. Um, otherwise, there's not el anything else to it. I would say a very limited playability. Um, but, yeah, it's a fun feature. Every every small town has, you know, access to the local landfill. And just, it was part of my childhood growing up. And, yeah. I think this is a neat little playset. And next, you know, in future videos, I'll talk about some of the other playsets, and then we'll progress up to um, the other lines that Galoob created. But yeah, hope you had fun, hope you learned something, and yeah, follow me for... I hate that. Don't follow me if you don't want to. I don't want to be a weird YouTuber. Um, yeah, just hope you enjoy these videos. Have a good day, folks.